Hey you guys, it's Michelle with Design Home Daily Review. Well, we've got the daily for you and a tip for the day, so let's get started. Today's daily challenge is moving to the Big Apple. Furnish an industrial living room for a couple who recently moved into this restored New York loft. Well, this was kind of funny because Ariana lives in the New York area and the picture that they show from the inside of this room <laughs> is not New York so it's just kind of funny but let's check the prize out seriously love this thing but what what is it I mean is this like a little side table or is this a a back table I'm not sure but it's 1498 diamonds I'm pretty sure we want this in our inventory so let's do good you guys here's what I'm talking about so Ariana said yeah but we don't have white buildings in New York City, so this is not a, a skyline of New York. I just thought it was kind of funny. But anyways, I love the room, you guys. I love the white ceilings with the white walls and this brick sidewall over here. Very, very cute. Concrete flooring. Let's see who the admin picks are. Woo, I love it. Natasha, you are an admin pick today, and I love the red, girlfriend. Check it out. This is so adorable with this new rug. And you have the little red flowers in here. So, so cute. And I love these chairs. These are those white chairs with the black outline. You've outlined everything with black and white. So, very adorable, girlfriend. Congratulations. Great job. Miss Kathy, you are an admin pick. Congrats, girl. I love your design. This is so cute. You use my favorite coffee table and my favorite sideboard over here. So very cute. I just love this. You got the, the matching couch with the chairs and this little floor lamp over here is so adorable, girlfriend. I love it. Great job. Next is Denise and I love this, Denise. It is so adorable. You guys, I cannot wait until I can get this chess set, this black and white chess set. I love it. This is so very cute with the white furniture, and you've outlined everything in black and white, and check it out. I love this artwork in here, girlfriend. I made this the thumbnail for today, so congratulations, Denise. Great job. Next is Lotus. You actually got picked twice, girl, so... you. <laughs> two admins loved your design and it is so cute i love this little green couch and i love these two little chairs it is so industrial this is what i think of when you know it says industrial this is so cute and you use this new rug in here so very cute and these two ottomans match the frames of this picture and the clock and the matching lamp it's all just jives together girl i love it congrats next is ariana and oh my goodness look how adorable this is i love it i love these little chairs i have the little pillows you guys check them out those are so adorable and i love this matching couch ariana knows how to pick out these little pieces that match it's so very cute this is my favorite floor lamp right here, by the way. And I love this little black and white lamp. So cute. And, of course, my favorite coffee table right here. Great job, girl. I love it. And last but certainly not the least, it's Mackenzie. Mackenzie, I love this design. It is so cute. And it is so industrial as well. Check it out. Even this rug is considered industrial, you guys, and I love this couch. Look at the detail on it. This little green couch. It is so cute. And this little new side table, by the way, you guys, it's new, and it matches the ottomans and the sideboard over here. You did a fabulous job putting this together, Mackenzie. I love it. Congrats. So congratulations to all of the admin picks today. Very beautiful designs, you guys. I love all of them. Great, great job. Okay, now on to Bendejo's tip of the day. And I want to let everybody know, all of our new members, that we named this bunny Bendejo. Bun for bunny, D-E for design, and H-O for home. So Bendejo. I know it sounds like a bad word, but and that's what kind of makes it funny 
Anyways, this has been Dejo. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Okay, so let's go over this second chance challenge really quick, you guys. And I apologize to all of our new members that we did not go over that clearer this week whenever you came on board. It must have been confusing, and I am so sorry for that. So what we've done is we've made the rules, the album cover, to make it a lot easier. Go over there, read the rules, so you kind of get familiar with this. <clears throat> Basically, in a nutshell... You want to take a design that did not make a five and you want to enter it into the album here okay and it will be entered into the drawing which will occur on monday we will draw it live on monday every monday we draw two winners for three thousand diamonds all right so what happens whenever you enter this well pretty much we just what we've been doing is critiquing the designs now we've changed that wording we're not going to call it critique. It's going to be basically feedback or constructive criticism. I, I don't even like that word, really. So really, we're just going to give you feedback from a voter's perspective, okay? And uh, because we're all voters, you guys. that's It's kind of funny. Everybody's always talking bad about the voters. I mean, I've done the same thing, you know. We, we talk it as if, if they're like some kind of third party or something. But we're the voters. Yeah. So... Our perspective does matter when it comes to looking at these designs so that's what this is about if you do not want feedback just simply put it in there you just want to enter your design for the drawing fine put no feedback out to the side exclamation points and then that should eliminate any problems per se now when you do get feedback do do it in a nice way use the golden rule we're here to beat the game. We are not in competition with one another here at Design Home Daily Review. We are all trying to beat the game, and I'm trying to help you beat the game. And, you know, so you can help the next person try to beat the game. You follow what I'm saying? That's what we're doing here at Design Homes D Daily Review. Oops. So, anyways. <laughs> all right. So, I hope, I hope that helps you guys out. If you have any problems at all or any questions, do not hesitate to ask any of us. We're here to help. Okay, today's tip is going to be about the equal sign, okay, in voting. So what I need you to do is go to your device in Design Home, and in the top right-hand corner, there's a question mark. Go ahead and click on that. It's going to take you to the help desk of Design Home, and you want to go down to where it says voting. Click on voting. Okay, so once you click on voting, it's going to take you to this screen right here, how do I vote? What does the equal symbol do? You want to click on this last one right here. What does the equal symbol do? And then it's going to take you to this screen. <clears throat> Excuse me. What does the equal symbol do? Okay, can't decide which look you prefer. You can tap the equal symbol button. This will not affect either design score as if you did not vote on those designs whatsoever. You follow what it's saying? Basically, you're passing the buck to somebody else if you hit that equal sign. Somebody's going to have to decide which design out of that pair is the better design. You don't have to like the design. You don't have to like what furniture is in there, what colors they used, what rug choice that they, they use. That does not matter when you're voting. What you're voting for is did they add the correct you know furniture? Did they add the little extra stuff did they add a lamp in there did they put any art in there did they put a plant you know did they try to make it cohesive did they uh, color coordinate or is there color differentiation you follow what i'm saying we all know how to vote we are the voters you guys so what you want to do is let me show you this right here as an example so these uh both of the out of this pair excuse me out of this pair both of these are fairly nice designs wouldn't you agree i mean they look pretty good so are you just going to hit the equal because they kind of both are good no you can still decide which one is better than the other so let's take a look at it all of the furniture up here you know pretty well goes together these stools up front match it's got nice carpet matches the walls it actually has some wall art, a plant, you know, everything just kind of jives in this one, right? Okay, you go down to the bottom one. We've got nice furniture. 
it matches as well with the stools up front and the table matches you know and we've got some wall art here it actually matches as well everything jives except for this right here I mean my eyes took me to this lamp right here and you know it's black and so it stands out you know kind of like a sore thumb right here so out of a comparison I would choose this one up here based on that alone you know not that this is a bad design but you have to pick one out of the pair and so that would be my choice would be up here so you can always figure it out right okay now I know some of y'all are not liking that there's children's art in this living room but here at design home daily review we've done a lot of research on this stuff you guys and it is perfectly fine to use this type of art in a living room and let me tell you why because this person is using like level one art and a plant right here see so they're probably beginners in this game now just think about that at the very beginning of this game we didn't have very much to choose from as soon as you level up you get more to choose from right so it's perfectly fine to use children's art nobody should be protesting against that or double art or you know uh, you black and whites or the magic rug and all of that that is not going to help any of us beat the game by protesting like that we literally just need to keep it as which one is better than the other and that's it that's it really and so hopefully this helps y'all um we will go over a lot more of this in the voting video that's coming out it's going to be about voting and about scoring so you don't want to miss that we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up today, you guys. I did want to cover one other thing. Whenever we get new members on Design Home, we have a little questionnaire that we ask people to uh, answer. And one of the questions is, what is Design Home's highest score possibility for each challenge? Well, this is, <laughs> this is a good example of why we ask this question. 100,000? <laughs> Anyways, I just thought I would end this video with a good laugh for all of you guys. And yes, we know that there is no bathrooms on Design Home. But a lot of people that say that there is, then we know they don't actually play the game. All right, you guys. We'll be back with some more for you tomorrow. Talk to you then. Bye now.